Are you... Mayday. Mayday, this is Cap Captain Wayne Edwards. I'm in a two-person delivery pod. Last known location is... Location... My co-pilot, she's dead. Requesting assistance, over. Mayday, Mayday. This is Captain Wayne Edwards. I'm in a two-person delivery pod. Last known location is... Location is... My co-pilot, she's... She's dead, requesting assistance, over. I wouldn't do that if I was you, son. Unless you got some kind of a death wish. Easy, stranger. Easy. I'm just trying to save another lost soul from punching his ticket too soon. If you know what I mean. No. No, I don't know. Who are you? What faction are you with and where am I? Sure as hell ain't the Arizona Republic. You ain't from around these parts, are you? No. Nope, your clothes are too clean. You sure ain't from Deadwater. I'm telling you, don't do it. They call the town Deadwater for a reason. Go over there. He thought the water was safe, too. Poor razor pup. Found out the hard way. Where'd you say you was from? I didn't. But I figured you'd know Arizona. You look old enough to be an off-wheeler. What's your outpost? Are you dense, boy? I told you. You're just a few kilometers outside of Deadwater. 
Now, if you want bigger picture, you're on the ninth moon of the infinity system. Where were you touched by fever when you were a young'un or something? Why don't you break it down for me? Use small words so I can keep up. Okay. Peace, stranger. Peace. I'll tell you all you want to know. Tired of talking to myself anyway. We were a terraforming community trying to turn this godforsaken rock into a hospitable home. At the rate we're going, we'll probably put our own bones in the ground before we're done. Well, you got quite a crack on the head there, didn't you? We get back to town, I can take you to see the dock. If you'd like. Yeah. I don't know I can trust you. <laughs> you don't. Come or don't come, as you please. But I'm going back to town. When that second sun sets, well, they always come out with the night. Not coming with you. Just walking in the same direction is all. Yeah, yeah, sure, sure. There she is. Ain't she a beauty? Jeff. What? Jeff. It's my name. Wayne. Welcome to Deadwater. Don't look like much, but it's home. Oldest outpost on the planet. Main streets here, most of the terraforming plantations are on the outskirts. Mining trains a few kilometers west, runs from here all the way to Fort Heston. Yeah, but what am I doing here? Well, now that's the question, isn't it? Listen, I'm just a good Samaritan, not a fortune teller. Come on now, let's get the dock and have you looked at. Come on, Jake. It's me. You know me. Yeah, I saw you sneaking around town and... Whoa, whoa, whoa. Slow down there, Jim. And what have you brought us today? A new face from the Outlands? And now, Jake, we're not looking for any trouble. It's just a newcomer. Needs to see the dock, that's all. Jeb, Jeb. Come on, old timer. Let's not make this a thing. Listen, I know you're new here, so I'll explain. Anyone that comes to my town has to go through me. Now, what kind of funds do you carry? Because we accept all major forms of currency. <laughs> I wouldn't give you any money even if I had any. But I don't. So I guess that solves that. <laughs> Ranger, you don't want to do this, trust me. The last guy who crossed me paid a much higher toll. Cost him four fingers, and he's still breathing through a tube. Now, if you are who you say you are, then you... <laughs> <laughs> Who are you? I've been asking myself that all day. Out 
nice. <laughs> I admit, you got some moves, Star Pilot. But since you're new in town, I give you some time to acclimate. But if it turns out you one of them, it's my job to bury you, boy. Uh, Jacob, I know you think you're just protecting the town. Come on, stranger. We need to talk about this a bit. Who is that guy? Just the town protector. Gotta keep these hounds separated. Here it is. Home sweet home. Right there. I know what you're wondering. What's an eligible bachelor like me living alone in a palace like this? I wasn't wondering that at all. Oh, yeah. Well, I'm going to tell you anyways. I wasn't always alone. I had a family. A beautiful wife and a handsome Son. My boy. Fever took them all from me. Why did I live? I may never know. We wonders every single day. We don't know. Perhaps it's punishment for past sins. I mean, it's just a nightmare that needs waking up from. Ah, just the person we're looking for. There's my favorite old time and terraform and stick your nose in everybody. Now, don't try to butter me up with all those nicey words, young lady. That fella here's hurt pretty badly. Is that right? Didn't stop him from roughing up the locals. Well, that bump on his head kind of confused his memory a little bit. Hey, Doc, you've got pills for that, don't you? Now, don't look at me like that. I got money this time. Where did you... You know what? I'm not even going to ask. <laughs> well, come on, space cowboy. Let's get a look at that wound of yours. Huh. Your first time in the Infinity System? I haven't seen ones like you out here before. Or maybe you're from a rival terraforming company, snooping around, admiring our work. Honestly, your guess is as good as mine. True story, that. This idiot just about found out why the pioneers originally called the town what they did. <laughs> hey, don't give him dirty looks, mister. This wound's gonna open up on you. You need something for the pain? No. Gotta enjoy it. Reminds me I'm still alive. Can't say the same for my co-pilot. Someone else with you? She was. Ah. You traveling at night? Razor wolves are relentless. She died in the crash. Buried her out in the desert. Can you remember anything before that? I don't know. Well, <clears throat> you need sleep. That goes without saying. And uh, take these. You won't survive without them. Got a place to stay out here? Oh, he's staying with me. Well, it's good to have the company. Man can only stand being alone so long. Thanks, Doc. Owe you one. Ah, you don't owe me anything. I'll be around tomorrow to check on you.
And stay out of trouble, stranger. You'll find you live longer out here. If you need anything, just holler. Happy slumber, stranger. Remember. I'm coming, I'm coming. And keep your fingers off. Dad? Deacon. Oh. Who might this wary space traveler be? This is my new friend, Wayne. You know, the strangest thing happened yesterday. Jake comes to my place with his boys, all bloody and broken, saying a stranger in town done robbed him. Took all his units. Now you two wouldn't happen to know anything about that, would you? Now, Sheriff, you know how Jake is. He's got a good heart. Way, 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 way down deep somewhere. I think he just misunderstood our stranger here. I think he's one of the good ones, though. Yeah, I know how they can be. To be honest, I could care less about the units. But there was a lot of blood and hydro oil all over the floor of my place last night, and I'd like to know who got that out of them. What planet you say you were coming from again? I didn't. Well, aren't we getting along all nicely here? Yeah. Sheriff. How about a nice cup of my nitro calf? I know you like a bold jolt in the morning. I know what you are. No memory after the crash? Feeling a little lost and out of place? So uh, tell me, is this your first run? I'd recall if I'd seen you before. What do you mean, my first run? All us crash dummies. We're on our own out here. Crash dummy? What's that supposed to mean? It's a, it's a term of endearment. But I'm going to be very real with you. You get in my way, and I will restart your timeline. No problem. Nothing personal. Pretty hard not to be offended when everyone I met out here wants to kill me. Oh, come on, Crash Dummy. You've been killed before. Between you and me, I cannot keep 
going and coming back again. Here we go. How nice seeing you two getting along so well. Uh, Sheriff, I'm afraid I can't tell a lie. Uh, you might want these back. As far as I know, those are yours. I'll just tell Jake that he needs to calm down unless he wants to see the inside of a compound cell for a year. I think I like you. But stay out of my way. Oh, yeah. She likes you. <laughs> she got a funny way of showing it. Deb, how long has Deacon been sheriff out here? That's hard to say. Maybe a few weeks. Maybe a few months. Out here at the edge of the galaxy, time is kind of a strange thing. It gets all muddled and confusing like. Well, how does she get here? I mean, how does she end up in Deadwater? Well, maybe just like you did. She walked out of the desert one day and found us. Well, the town had an opening for a sheriff, and she fit the bill just she, fine. She walked out of the desert? Jeb, I need you to think about this real hard. Did anyone else end up on this rock like I did? Crashing out there. Jeb! What? Sometime today. Well, now that you mention it, we've had quite a few. They all came here in a pod like me, and you don't think this is strange? I guess so. How you feeling this morning? Did those pills help you last night? Did they make you have any strange dreams? I don't think those were dreams. Hey, where are you going? Get some answers from a friendly neighborhood sheriff. Well, there he is. You think you can come into my town and ruin my chances to get out of here? No, friend. I don't think so. Listen, I'm just trying to piece together what happened to me. My starship crashed out in your desert. That how you got here too? I ain't come from no crashed ship. I'm no stranger, Pilgrim. See, I've been stuck out here for years. But you? <laughs> I know what you are. You one of them. And there's only one way to deal with fellas like you. One false move. And I swear to Ken too and the fire protectors, you have a boat inside your belly large enough for my double wide hover bike. Now, tell me the truth, space cowboy. You one of them, aren't you? You did this to us. Tell me the truth. I didn't do anything. Yet. <laughs> Try something. Friend has nothing but a bucket of balls. Dreaming. I need you to listen to me now. You're gonna be fine. Okay, you're gonna be fine. This isn't the end. No, no, you don't understand. No, you don't yet understand. It'll all make sense soon. I need you to tell her. Tell her. I'm sorry. She knew. She already knew. 
This isn't the end. This isn't the end. He'll be back. Well, most of them will come back. He, he's look, looking at us. Should he be looking at us? It's fine. He's secure and sedated. I'll just be a moment to clear the first simulation and then we'll get it fired up again. First aid jitters and all? Yeah, no. No, I'm good. Did you say most of him will go back in? Does that mean... Well, according to our shareholders, it means the long-term effects of the Infinity Simulation are still being researched. But from the data collected by those of us handling the controls, let's just say most crash dummies report immediate loss of long-term memories and chronic internal fogging. Got it. So do they, do they catch on after multiple runs? Hard to tell. We bank on those side effects for the first-timers. Otherwise, they don't buy into the simulation. They'd know it's all fake. You following? You should have read this in the employee handbook. Right, no, I'm sorry. Um, just one last question. How do the, how, how do the candidates get out? How do they win? Once they've shown us they have the grit to make it outside our solar system, we get them to a real ship. Or we will, rather, when we get that far. We better hope it's sooner rather than later. It's so crazy that anyone would volunteer for something like this. Whoever said they volunteered? Mayday, Mayday. This is Captain Wayne Edwards. I'm in a two-person delivery pod. Last known location is... Look. My co-pilot, she's dead. Requesting assistance, over.